guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at Jerry Ohm Ram in Tampa, Florida. And guess what? We have the baddest Ram for off-road enthusiasts. This is the 2020 Ram Rebel. But before we dive into this, let's talk a little bit about Ram history. Now, Ram as an actual brand has not been around very long. It's been around since 2009. Dodge decided to cut the tie between the Dodge Ram truck and created its own brand. I think it was a smart move, especially with the growth of the truck industry, especially when it comes to what Ram is bringing to the table. This is the two year in a row North American truck of the year. And what the Rebel is promising is that ultimate and off-road capability. This truck is meant to go up against the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro, the Chevy Silverado, obviously with that Z71 off-road package, the GMC Sierra AT4. The one that it does not compete with is the Ford Raptor. That's still on another level, but you know what? This is really bringing its A game when it comes to some off-road capability and wait until you get to the interior. Ram does things that the other manufacturers of trucks just don't. So let's go ahead and get into this 2020 Ram Rebel. Right off the bat, I love the murdered out look, black on black on black. You have nice large headlight housing, actually fits the front of the truck very well, full LED headlights, turn signals, and daytime running lamps. You drop down, you got a nice powder coated metal front bumper. I love the LED fog lamps down low. And then you're gonna have these massive tow hooks that are, guess what, not for you. It's meant for you to pull those lesser trucks out of the mud and the dirt and everything else. Now, since we're down here, underneath you are gonna get full metal protection to protect all those inner working bits underneath the truck. You have about 10 inches of ground clearance. We come across the grill. I love the grill design, the way they bring in this extra design element, flat black on the Ram logo. Looks very, very menacing from the front. When we go up onto the hood, hood is so stylish. Large power bulge center area. I even like the way that the hood integrates into that upper portion of the front grill. There's some really, really cool heat extractors on this thing, but here's the bad news, and this is the Zonk. One, two, three Zonks I'm issuing. These are all fake. They're not functioning. They look really good, but they're not functioning. What is functioning, though, when we come around the bend is the suspension setup. I'm gonna have Tom kind of show off the top of the dampers there. Those are Bilstein dampers. So you have Bilstein shock absorbers, all four corners. We drop down for 2020, they decided to switch to the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack uh, tire. The reason why is, is to give you a little quieter ride on the road, but still very off-road capable. Now, if you're wondering what are these wrapped around, this is an 18 inch wheel. I like the flat black, really clean look with the overall black of the Rebel. You can see the flared out fender treatment, nicely integrated, nothing too aggressive, just a little bit there. Flat black on the mirrors, this is gonna help take a beating. Cause remember, they want you to off-road this thing. They don't want you to go take it to truck shows and show it off all polished up, which you can, but they want you to take it off-road and this is gonna take a little bit better beating. You have flat black on the Ram badging, painted matching uh, door handles, which is nice. No running boards or anything like that. So you're gonna get your maximum ground clearance, especially with those Bilstein dampers. That's the, they're some of the best dampers in the industry. We keep working our way back wait until we get inside, we get to the bed and there's gonna be something new for 2020, but hold on one second. I'm gonna have Tom kind of show off the rear suspension. Now, when it comes to the rear suspension, what we're looking at is you're gonna have the same Bilstein monotube dampers as up front, but they have external reservoirs and this has a one inch lift from the factory. So that's also gonna separate you from the rest of the Ram truck crowd. Now, when you get to the back, Here's what's gonna separate you from the truck crowd, period. You actually have a nice 60-40 swinging tailgate. So we could open up our tailgate the good old fashioned way. It's got a nice soft release. You can see the amount of room that we have. You have your toe down uh, strap locations, all four corners, very, very nicely done. You got the uh, cab lighting up there that's to light up the rear. You also have LED lighting on the inside of the bed as well. Now here is what's new for 2020 and just keeps winning Ram more and more awards. So we actually can open this 60-40 split up. So the way that we do that is first of all, you need to close it all the way. Now you just swing it open 
You need to get stuff in and out, but wait, there's more. Now you have your full truck bed open a totally different way. We close it up. Got to use a little muscle there. This is a truck, takes the beating. Ram Rebel badge, I love the blacked out look. You got that iconic logo about the lock horns with the truck behind you. The nice coating on the rear bumper. You have oval tailpipes with a slash cut. And of course, you're gonna have full towing capability. Why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Ram Rebel. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on this Ram Rebel. I hope you like VA power because we're bringing it to you and bringing it in a big way. And that's the great thing that I love about Ram trucks just overall it are the variety of different power options, trim options, and everything else. So powering this half-ton pickup truck, you're looking at that 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. Out back, you got the 392 gears, and you're gonna have that eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, the truck is a little on the heavier side. It does weigh 5,748 pounds, zero to 60 in about 6.4 seconds, and quarter mile in about 15 seconds flat. You can tow 7,520 pounds, and what's great is, is for those off-road lovers, you do have hill descent control specific to the Ram Rebel. What do I like when I open up the hood? I like seeing that Hemi V8. Lots of room where you can see the alternator, the crankshaft pulley, the whole nine yards. But talking about this engine is great. Let's go ahead, fire up this Hemi and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, inside the cabin of this Ram Rebel, this is where it wins that North American Truck of the Year award over and over again. The interior of these Ram trucks are mind blowing. Now, before I get into the interior, let's talk about price. MSRP on the way that this one is optioned is around $53,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, I'm loving the door panels. There's a lot of dark material, but the great news is there's some great silver trim. I love the white contrast stitching. You have two level levels of pockets there. The smaller pocket is for your king size Snickers. Down below, you can get a foot long meatball sub, maybe a chicken parm, and some water bottles down there to wash it all down. When we go from the door panel to the dash, I like the way they brought the silver trim around the AC vents. The stitch work is great. You got that Rebel badge staring your passenger right in the face. Look at this, open door number one. There you have more space to put the things that you need at any good, given moment, closes up nicely. This is where really the crescendo of what Ram brings to the table is this infotainment system. No other truck has an infotainment system like this. So you have your 12 volt nicely placed up top. I like this, this uh, texture design that they have. A Little bit of gloss black, but it's nothing too bad. This is a 12 inch infotainment system screen. It has all of your functionality together in it. So you have your AC controls. You could touch the screen if you want to. If you have a phobia about touching screens, there are buttons on the side as well. You got your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, your navigation. Look at how large that is. Crystal clear, very, very nice set setup. Backup camera, you can look out back. Of course, you're gonna have your trajectory. Heated seat, heated steering wheel is gonna make life a lot nicer for you, especially if you live in those colder states. We drop down, you have some nice toggle switches. This is gonna control that eight-speed automatic transmission. What I love about the rotary knob is that it's actual metal and it feels really nice every time you use it. Of course, you got that four-wheel drive capability with this Rebel and it's all easily placed right by the rotary knob. Push button start. When it comes to organization, they got you covered. I don't care how much stuff you have, they have somewhere to put it. Even stuff you didn't even know you had, Ram came up with a way for you to put it. So you have two USBs, an aux jack, and two USB-Cs in here. Then you're gonna have this nice little tray for your phones, two cup holders, key fob. What are we working with? There's our Ram key fob. I love the silver touch, the Ram on it. And then you have obviously your remote start, which is real clean and clear. Really great, got a, it's got a great weight to it too. Two cup holders, a tray for your Twinkies, which is great. Push this button, 
look at that. You slide it back, you're gonna have a home power source, and then this is where you could just take your Nutter Butters, the box of Nutter Butters, put them down there. Even some milk. Just make sure you drink the milk before it gets warm and that might taste a little weird. Armrests, love the stitch work, love the design. You see everything here? All the, the, the side pockets for your Twizzlers, they got you covered. Ram knows you love snacks and that's how they designed the inside of this truck. Lift this up, whoa, what do we have? Fill this up with peanut M&Ms, you're not gonna crush your nuts. Ram has you covered. They don't want anybody, a guy or a girl, to crush their nuts. Flip this up, even more usable space. So this thing is crazy. And then at, just to take care of you in case you were sleeping in math, we have all of our uh, information here math-wise, uh, even the Pythagorean theorem and also the periodic table. So they got you covered there as well. Seats. I'm liking what's going on here. We got some different style material. I like the white contrast stitching. I like the RAM embroidery. The one thing I don't like is they're not ventilated. At $53,000, I would like to see ventilated seats. They are heated, but I would like ventilated because I live in Florida and we use that a lot more than heated seats. No sunroof, but tons of space in here. Get on over the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this RAM Rebel. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Really, really like the overall feeling. The seat cushion is nice and wide. You could use your electric assist. The lower lumbar is wonderful. Steering wheel, perfect thickness. I like the quality crisscross stitch pattern. It's a contrast stitch. There's that ram staring at you. It wants to lock horns. It wants to bash you right in the head. But you know what? It's not going to because you, you love your ram. You got nice flat black buttons. Look at the dash. It's a little busy, but the more that I'm around these rams, I'm liking it more and more. So you have that nice digital display in the center, which you could actually toggle through a plethora of information, which is wonderful. Then you're going to have the analog tech, analog speedometer, coolant gauge, and fuel gauge. But even in the corners, you have a digital voltmeter and also uh, oil pressure. So that's really wonderful as well. And the Rebel name there. I like the stitching on the hood. You got your grab handles. Let's go ahead though, check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna love being rebels. All right guys, rebel without a cause, rebel without a clue. But one thing back here for sure is you got a rebel with a lot of room, tons of space. I even have a seat. Tom was chilling like a villain. I got the seat all the way back and I still got plenty of leg room. You got your two cup holders, a nice place for your Jolly Ranchers, rear AC vents, which is nice. This one has no optional though connectivity. At $53,000, I am gonna zonk that. You can option it, but for that price, you should at least have a 12 volt, maybe even two cans and a string. We pull this down, nice armrest. I do like the way they did the stitching, and you have a power sliding rear glass window. But while we go ahead, let's get to the best part of any truck. Let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Ram Rebel. I'm telling you right now, if you're like, the type of truck owner that wants the nicest interior, Ram is the only the way to go. They really have outdone themselves and continue to because they keep winning truck of the year. Uh, that swinging rear tailgate, the 60-40 swing, that to me is ingenious. And in the interior is that infotainment system, very nicely done. The dash, it's a little busy at first, but I promise you, I was one of those people, I was like, eh, I don't like it. It's too much stuff on the dash. It actually looks really great. And once you get used to it, it's a no brainer. You have that one inch lift, which I would like to park this next to uh, Sierra AT4, because the AT4s have a two inch lift from the factory, but I don't know where they're starting from stock versus stock height. So one inch lift, Plenty of ground clearance though um, to take care of whatever your off-road needs are. You could really see, especially um, at the beginning of the video, the beefed up control arm, the lower control arm and whatnot to help take that beating as you're going off-road. And I'm always happy to drive the vehicles in the rain because it just brings a different element, be a little bit more mindful of how the tires grip and whatnot. With the Goodyears, it is quieter for sure um, in this rebel than than last year i do love seeing the hood the bad news is the zonk is that it's all fake so if you don't have an issue with fake vents then you're gonna love it too but if you wanted functionality unfortunately ram did not bring it but let me go ahead and get on throttle as we're rolling here that v8 hemi doing the business nice smooth shifting transmission 
I like the feedback that I'm getting from the wheel. And even though this is an off-road truck, I'm not feeling really bouncy in here, which is great. I'm telling you, the Bilstein dampers, they're, Bilstein's a great company. They've been making all sorts of shock absorbers for many different applications. And this one really is great as well. But back on throttle. Great V8 sound. So if you're sick and tired of an EcoBoost in one of those other brands, I won't mention that brand, but kind of gave it away, EcoBoost. If you're done with the EcoBoost and you want your V8 power and your V8 sound, get a Ram Rebel. They got you covered. All blacked out, looks really great, but of course they have other color options as well. Visibility out the back window is nice. The side mirrors are ginormous, like ginormous. You have your standard glass mirror, but then you also have a convex mirror to give you a really clear view around the back of the, to the back of the vehicle. Some of the things that we're missing at this price point, like I said, those poor passengers, your rebels in the back seat, there's no connectivity whatsoever for them. Also, no ventilated seats. So don't think I'm sitting here and, and you're saying to yourself, man, did Ram pay Brady a bunch of money to talk positive about their truck? First of all, nobody pays us. Second of all, well, at least no companies or dealerships. But second of all, uh, they did do a great job, but there are a few things missing that, yes, you don't have to say it in the comment section, unless you really want to. You can get the things that I'm zonking, but you gotta pay more money. Once you get close to 60 grand, I'm saying Ford Raptor is pretty much the only way to go if you want an off-road truck for that kind of performance, that kind of style and everything else. So I think having an MSRP of 53 grand and then maybe you work some magic if you could get this uh less than 50 I think you did well and you have one hell of a truck all right guys back on throttle nice ride this thing really rides well and I'm really digging the feedback coming to the steering wheel of course on wet roads you're going to be fighting for traction um but other than that it drives really nice it's easy to get to the four-wheel drive controls right next to that rotary knob and I'm gonna say it again this infotainment system is just it's nicely integrated it's not an iPad style and it's massive it's totally massive but we're gonna go ahead wrap this one up get back to Jerry Ohm Dodge so I'll see you in a split second all right guys been another magical day here at Jerry Ohm Dodge we're finishing up in the rain I want to thank J-Rod Wade, Wade and everybody else here this truck definitely is a competitor to the other off-road editions out there from Toyota, GMC, and everybody else. If these are the types of things that you like to see on Randy's Rise where I put myself in the elements, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I'll say uh, uh, thank you for subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of the Randy's Rise family. Make sure you click the link in the description. Get yourself some Randy's Rise merch. Big thanks to Tom. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next ride.